right guys, so this is Trevor. He's come up from Cornwall, as I said earlier, and uh, is collecting the uh, uh, XBY stag that we've been holding on to a friend. And Trev, you travel all over the country? I do, yeah, I do, yes. And, uh, yeah, based in Cornwall. Based in Cornwall, but uh, literally up to Scotland next week, the yeah, week next after. Week. Yeah, Monday go, morning. Go overseas and so on. So if anybody wants a, a classic car in particular move, because you quite like your classics. That's the interest. That's the, that's, <laughs> that's the interest, then that'd be great. Uh, Trevor's come up from Cornwall this morning to uh, return a stag back to a friend of ours up in Essex. Is that right? It is. It is, so, yeah. So it's yes, been all the way up to Essex and then back down to Cornwall later on tonight. So um, Trev does uh, classic car transportation all around the country. You said you could go up to Scotland next week. So uh, Scotland on a trip soon. So um, all, all good. But um, as ever, good to know people like Trev who can transport and move cars around the country, obviously for a, for a fee, but um, very nice chap and uh, is doing a great job today, making the car all secure and uh, off it's going up the motorways, up east. <laughs> so thanks a lot. Go, well, I'm very it? sorry yes. to see it go. It's a beautiful car, it really is. Yeah. I've got to <laughs> Put a lot of work into it, mind. But, uh, I'm, I'm going to import some Fiat 500s. Right, okay. The yeah. yeah, I know, the old Cinquecentos. Uh, the 1970s. Yeah. Um, from Italy. I've got to go down there shortly. Yeah. Shelter. Yeah, like us too, actually. It's not been too bad down here, you know. Uh, no, it's, it's lovely. Actually. Yeah. So Trev just saying you love your classic cars and um, it's all about the people that own them as much as anything else, which is really great. Have you got an MG Midget you said as well? Midget, yeah. yeah. Midget, so you're doing that. Complete. Yeah, very good. It's not work. Somewhere buried in the back of the workshop there's a Sprite. Is there? Right, okay. Yeah. 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 They're quite rare now, aren't they? The um, yeah, Austin Healy. Yeah, the Frog Eye. Frog Eye Sprite, yeah. 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 Uh, no, it's beautiful. And you do all the work oh, yourself. Lovely. Yeah, they do need a lot of care. You're right. It's, um, people forget these cars are like 50 years old now, 50 almost. Years old, yeah. yeah, some of them. And uh, they've got to be uh, looked after. <laughs> yes, yeah, no doubt. Checking fluids all the time and, um, you know, just. Well, that's half the fun of owning Tink one, I think. Tinkering. Tinkering, isn't it? That's right, yeah. I used to be into my... Well, funnily enough, I lived up here for a little while. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, for about ten years. Yeah. Um, yeah. And... into um, classic bikes. Right, OK. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, some great clubs up here. All right, so that's... Uh, all locked and loaded and uh, now off up east and off it goes up the motorways. Trevor, thank you very much indeed for, for being on the channel. Pleasure. Uh, just something from us to say, congratulations. Oh, thank you. A couple of Harry the uh, oh. Stag badges oh, that will and a key ring. Be proudly displayed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's really great. And uh, guys, we'll see you online on Harry the Stag very soon. <laughs> Cheers for now. Bye. <laughs> and there we go. There goes young Trev off up to Essex with uh, XBY. It's going to take a few hours, I think, to get him up to um, our friends. But uh, the stag is certainly looking resplendent in the early September, late autumn, early autumn sunshine. <laughs> there you go, off she goes.